Hi everyone, in my last video I showed you how to build a simple bot integration platform where you could talk to multiple bots by switching between them manually. But wouldn't it be better if the LLM itself decides which bot to talk to? This can be achieved with LLM based routing. Before we dive deeper into that, we first have to define what a bot actually is. A bot has its own AI layer and a database enabling it to function autonomously. The platform routes to a chosen bot. One way to achieve this is by using tool calling where each bot acts as an independent tool that the router LLM can call. However, there's also a method to remove the AI layer from each bot entirely. So instead, the router or platform bot directly talks to the data. We can do this by standardizing each bot into an API. APIs typically have so-called open API specs, like an open API YAML file, for example, to describe the endpoints. We can feed the spec to the router LLM, which then decides which endpoint to use based on the specification. This approach greatly reduces the complexity and teams building specialized bots can do that by just creating standard REST services without adding the complexity of an AI component. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how LLM-based routing works and demonstrate how OpenRP specs can act as tools to communicate with different APIs. Let's jump into the code. Okay, we are now in VS Code and I'm gonna show you first how LLM-based routing functions. So there are three ways to achieve routing. The first way is to use an embedding model and create sample questions and then decide which is the most similar question to the query of the user. The second one is to directly let an LLM decide it by classifying the question. The third one, and I think that's the preferred way, is to directly use tool calling. Okay, let's start with LLM-based routing via an embedding model. So we got three LLMs. Here is the template, so that's the system message and let's say the extension of the user query. So that's passed to the LLM. You are an expert in automot automotives. You have extensive knowledge about car mechanics, models and automotive technology. The second LLM is an expert in food critics and is a restaurant reviewer. The third one is you are a tech expert with in-depth knowledge of the latest gadgets, software and so on. So three different topics and all have got the same template with a single input variable, which is the user query. So let's run this. And now what we're gonna do is we create sample questions for the car expert, for the restaurant expert, and for the technology expert. So these are questions that a user could ask. And we then make an embedding from the original user question and use a metric like the cosine similarity to get the closest embedding. And based on the closest embedding, we can identify which LLM we want to route to. Let's say we create three embeddings for all of these questions. We get a user query and then we check how close is the query to that, to that, and to that. So for each of the questions, we do that and we will route to the closest. Okay, so let's create the car question, restaurant, and technology questions. Now we're gonna create an instance of OpenAI embeddings and embed all of the documents. This will create a list of embeddings. And now we create a prompt router. So what we're gonna do is we use the embeddings instance and embed the single query. This will return a vector with 1536 dimensions and we calculate the cosine similarity of every embeddings list that we created here. We then take the maximum of each list and from that new list, we again talk, uh, get the maximum. We then have the overall maximum, so the most similar vector, and we check if that's inside the car similarity list, the restaurant similarity list, or the technology list. And then we route to that specific template. So we're gonna create an instance of that template and we're gonna use that later on. So let's do that. And our question is, what's the best way to improve my car's battery life? So that's about cars and we can see the most similar ve vector makes the decision that we're gonna route to the car LLM. So we use that car template to answer the user question. We then gonna create our chain and here we use a runnable Lambda so we can make use of this router function. And if we gonna run that, so how do we identify a good vintage wine at the restaurant? This is about wine, so the router decides that's about restaurant. And then we get an answer about the topic the user asked for. Okay, let's now jump into the next method, which is the classification. So we use a single chat prompt template here. And here we're gonna do the following. Here we've got three questions. 
if the question is about car mechanics, then classify it as cars. And here we've got our categories. So this is something we have to do every time we extend it. So let's say we create a fourth category, we would have to extend our prompt template. Here again is the question, and then the LLM should decide what this question is about. So the LLM will return a string, which is car, restaurant, or technology. So this is our new router function. And here we can see that if we do that, we run a query, which is which are the latest trends in electric cars. And the, okay, as you can see, this is already, I think a bit tricky because cars and uh, the use of electric maybe overlaps a little bit. So let's maybe try to remove that electric. And now we can see that it's about cars. So as you can see, this classification method already has some drawbacks if we've got overlapping categories, because it would be better to route to two bots to get a final answer. And I will show you how to do that by using tool calling, but first we're gonna run that chain as complete chain. So how do I identify good vintage when in a restaurant? And this should work out of the box. But yeah, as you can see, it's not the very best way because if we ask a question like, what are new car trends out there in the market and what kind of gadgets do these cars have? Then it would be better to ask two bots to answer the question. And this can be achieved with tool calling quite easily. So instead of making a classifier, we can define functions which serve as classifier. So we've got a tool, classify as car. And in here, we use a description. So this looks pretty much the same as here, but we make it independently. So we've got a classify as car function with that description and also with the arguments we want to provide here. And here again, the same, the same sentence like above and a third tool, classify as technology, classify as car and classify as restaurant. So let's create that. And now let's make use of the standard tool calling functionality. So we first gonna wrap the original query into a list. So that's a list with a single human question, a human message. And then we're gonna pass the complete list to the LLM, which we give or bind all that tools. Here we've got our three tools. And then the LLM decides which tools it needs. So we have to provide a tool mapping and the LLM will decide which tools to use and which arguments to pass. And then we're gonna create a new list with that special tool message class and we're gonna send everything to OpenAI. So as you can see, this query here, how do I identify a good vintage wine in the restaurant is classify as a restaurant. So that's the tool it uses. Here we can see the first answer of the LLM is content with an empty string, but we get that additional quarks or tool calls attribute. And here we know by that, that we should use it to answer the question. Then we make our tool call and here we just return a dummy string, but that's actually the way it goes. So what we're gonna do now is that we are gonna create that question that makes use of two tool calls. So what's newest trends on the car market and what gadgets are relevant? Okay, some misspellings here, but it doesn't matter for the LLM. Let's create that. And now we can see we make use of two tools. So we get this AI message and tool message is content. And the second one is technology. So here we can use two tools directly and without changing the code. So, and this is why I prefer tool calling over every other classification method. The LLMs are trained on that. You can work with a list of tools and it scales pretty well. And yes, use tool calling whenever you can. Okay, let's now make use of that knowledge to create a chat application that will make use of tools to talk to an API. We've got two dummy applications, the chat app.py, which is a fast API application with a single endpoint. Here actually nothing happens. The answer from the API is just you said and then respond with the user input. The other one is a little bit more complicated. Here we can see that we've got some information about user data, John Doe, with its full name and also some documents which they yeah, mimic some kind of a rack process. So this is what we have and we can ask about the users inside the application and we can ask about the documents of a user. So this is a little bit more logic and we will provide the abstraction to make use of that API by using 
that YAML files and we will only feed the YAML files to the code here and based on that YAML file we will route to the correct bot and get the answer from the API. So we don't need to know this logic as user of the uh, platform or router LLM. Like I said, the key parts here is that we describe our application by using a YAML file, so the OpenRPI specification. So it looks like this. For the chat app, which is a little bit less complicated, it looks, looks like this. So we've got our OpenRPI version, then we've got some information, and here we've got our path. That is important for the LLM to build the endpoint it should use. Here we've got a description that is also important for the LLM. So this is how it decides if that endpoint is useful to answer a question or not. And we can also see that um, the LLM interprets how it uses the response and so on. Okay, I would say we now start our applications. So the first one is started by using Python and then chatapp.py. The second one is started by using Python other app.py. So we can now talk to that APIs. So here inside the code IPython notebook, we will do that. First gonna load our API key again, and then we're gonna load the specs. So the first one is spec one, the second one is spec two. And this is how it looks like when we read it. So this is in a JSON format now. And yeah, YAML and JSON are interchangeable. So we now import the open RP spec class from Langchain community utilities. And here we've got this open RP module with that class. So we parse the spec, both specs, and then we're gonna use open RP spec to open AI FN. So this converts that specification into a tool. So I'm gonna show you how that looks like. So these are the final tools now. And here we can see input type is function. Then we've got a function name, which is for example, users get. So that's the API endpoint and OpenAI uses that endpoint and creates this function out of it. And we can see that we've got every endpoint here wrapped into a function. Okay, next we're gonna use that and bind that tools. So that list of tools, which we combine here, bind that to the LLM. And now we're gonna create a system message, use the provided APIs to respond to a user's query. Now we've got a question. Show me all documents of John Doe. We're gonna append that to the system message. Here we can see if we print it, we've got the system message and we've got the human message. We send that to the LLM by providing it here as input. We're gonna pass the output to the list or we're gonna append that. And now we're gonna check if we've got a tool call. And we can see that the LLM decides that it should use the user's full name documents get function to actually get the information about John Doe. We again, like before, create our tool mapping so we can actually get the correct function. The tool mapping looks like this. So we've got a key for each function and then the function as value. And now we're gonna make use of the tools. So we're gonna do it like this. We're gonna select our tool and get a response. As you can see, we make a request to that endpoint, get an okay. And now if we have a look at messages, we can see that this is what we get from the API. So page content, John's first document, and the second one is John's second document. So of course it's only dummy data, but in general it works. And now we're gonna combine that, send that to the LLM again, and get a human-like answer. Here are all the documents of John Doe. Now we get this in the new line character, document one, John's first document, document two, John's second document. Okay, that's it, let's summarize. We can use routing via tool calling to directly route to external systems, which can be bots or just an API. We can get rid of a bots AI layer to use just an open RP YAML spec to get the answers you want. And that decreases the complexity of a single bot drastically. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.